what are some you know, steps, advice you have for someone like me, a young person, trying to you know, take a little dive? You know, this is the problem, is that you know, young people like you are turning to me and saying, what do we do? And I'm actually turning to young people and saying, what are we doing? What are you doing? As someone who wants to become a political reporter... Do it. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, what advice do you have? First, I just think that reporting is the most fun job in the world. I like wake up every day, I talk to fascinating people, I try to find out the most interesting things they could possibly tell me, and then I get to package them up and tell other people the coolest things I've learned. Uh, in terms of uh, starting out as a political journalist, uh, I think the most important thing to remember is that the people you're covering are people. There's all sorts of information floating around, and if you're serious about it in a way that you want more than just uh, your personal status, but you see this as an important function in American democracy, uh, then you need to be concerned about uh, the quality of, of your work, the accuracy of your work. If you're in this because you're like, oh my God, I want to make a ton of money and I'm going to become, you know, I'm going to hit pay dirt and I'm going to create the new Huffington Post and it's going to be, you know, lots of money and such, you know, that's not what motivated me as a journalist. And I would say that for any journalist, understand what your motivation is. We have serious business to take care of right now in this country. This is not a joke. Our country is in a moment of historic change. Um, and so we need journalists, we need more of them, but it's hard. The adjectives you use, the adverbs you use, the, the verbs you use, that someone is actually reading those stories. Uh, now, obviously, if you're in elected office, you've asked to be written about, um, but for everybody in the process, I think it's always important to remember that they're people. Not be tempted to go to chase the, uh, f fame and fortune by going wild, and because the opportunity is there, the venues are there for you to lose control, uh, be sensationalist. Not easy to find work, not easy to get published, not easy to get paid. So you just gotta be in it for the long haul, to continue to perfect your craft, to continue to find your elders, your mentors, and to just not give up. I mean, when I graduated from college, I was a freelancer during the day and I waited tables at night. So that's what I'm talking about. It's gotta be that you're doing it because you love it and you're not gonna give up.